Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Brian Altano, and I'm with Sam Claiborne. What's up, Brian? And we are playing Mario Bros. Yeah, there's my good friend Luigi as uh, Brian. I'll be playing as Mario. Playing not, not Super Mario Bros., not Super Mario World, not Super Mario Brothers 3. Yep, but it Mario features Bros. both Mario Bros. Oh, that was a good for the first time. Good assist right there. And oh man! And I should. And I have a question for you, Brian. Yeah. Are we competing, or are we working together? Um. Yo. That's one for the ages. <laughs> I would say right there that we were not working together. Yeah. So it's Mario a strange Bros. Competitive a, it's a competitive co-op game yeah. uh, that very few were made like this back in the day. Oh. Um, and this is actually the first Mario Brothers game proper ever made. Yeah. Uh, and it's very so. Damn it. As the first appearance of the Smash Brothers uh, platform that rises in from the top of the screen too. Yeah, yeah, um, and it's a very uh, it's a very simplistic game, uh, mm -hmm. but it's also incredibly difficult. It introduces some of the things that we saw. Yeah, look how many things on the screen you recognize from Super Mario Brothers and thereafter. Yeah, you got the POW block. We got coins. Yeah, we have uh, pipes. Koop Koopas. Koopas. Yeah, these are things that were Brothers. not in Donkey Kong. No, not at all. Um, all this stuff was new for this. Oh, man. Now, you just noticed something there. Yeah, you can't jump on a turtle. You can't jump on turtles. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know, man. Oh! But they did Sorry, bring back the thing where if you knock over a Koopa for too long, he gets incredibly angry. So, yeah, Sam, red. tell me about this game. When did this game first come out? So, it's pretty cool. This game came out in 1983 in arcades in a big, wide arcade machine so both people could stand next to each other. It's called yeah. a wide body. And, and that's really cool. And, and, the, and it was a big orange machine. It's just so unique looking great. Interestingly, Nintendo in 1983 uh, had a home system out in Japan called the Famicom, which became the NES here. Damn. And this game came out on the Famicom mm -hmm. like three months later. This came out maybe July-ish in arcades. And then by September, it was out on the Famicom. How crazy is that? That's absolutely nuts. And it, and it, and it, it looked a little better in the arcades. It plays a little bit different. We should mention we're playing the NES version mm -hmm. because you cannot play the arcade version of Mario Mario Brothers legitimately right now. Um, Nintendo has not made it available, although they've made this game available in this form uh, with only Luigi in it as Super Luigi Brothers. Oh, man. No. Which was a bonus in uh, New Super Mario U. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Which is pretty cool. Um. But yeah, so it came out uh, in 80... <laughs> look, look, look what's going to happen to that Koopa. He's just going to go back and forth for all eternity. Yeah, it came out in 83, and it was really popular in the arcades, but arcades uh, were about to um, completely implode mm -hmm. and go away forever. Not really forever, but until Street Fighter 2. Um, and so the home version of this was around for a little bit, and of course the sequel had to be so much more, and that was yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Tester's and Super game. Mario Brothers could not be a more different game. Really, it's just the graphical elements that are the same. There's nothing really arcadey about Super Mario Brothers. It's about secrets and exploring and adventure. Yeah. Uh, in retrospect, you know, when you put this next to the original Super Mario Brothers game, uh, this feels like a, a ROM hack. Yeah. Well, you know or what it feels like to me? Some fan-made game. It feels like Horde mode. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like... It's, it's, it it's, it's like, let's sense. take all these enemies and just throw them at you over and over and over and over again. Now, the crabs, wait, they never really came back, right? Yeah. You know, you know. did you play the Virtual Boy version of this game called Mario Clash? I did, yes. I played that probably more than the original Mario Brothers, though I remember Mario Brothers from when I was a kid and being like, what, what is this crap? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you straight up yeah, right now, Sam, because we're I know. friends. Go for it. I don't like this game. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. A lot of people do. It's uh, People are very fond of it. I don't think it's very fun. As you can see, I'm terrible at it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've been dead for 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, well, it, it definitely just the controls alone get... get Taking, you have to get used to it. Look how much I'm sliding around. Well, it, it's just it, funny. It controls more like uh, ice climbers. Than it's it does. so much like ice climbers and controls, and then that game does a Mario. Mess. Yeah, and it's it's it's. I feel like it's weird to me to play a Mario game where you can't jump on uh, turtles, yep. and when you jump in the air, it's it's not the jump you're used to. You know, um, and I do yeah, it's sort of little, like it's kind of more vertical and sideways, and of course yeah, you, you, you can't control it. Like I'm jumping and pressing left and right, yeah, you, you can't do anything. You about have that. to pick your trajectory just as you take off. Like that, you can't do anything while you're in the air. So b before this, we had Jumpman, mm -hmm. and they started calling him Mario uh, around this time. Actually, there was some some Mario around the time of Donkey Kong, but in this this really solidified the Mario name and Luigi, yep. and it's because of Mario Sigale, the uh, property manager of Nintendo's warehouse. His name was Mario, mm -hmm. so they called him that. 
how am I out surviving you so much? I don't know. I, I would quit and let you back in. I kind of want to show no, these. No, do your thing. Well, I just wanted to show these great people. There's an ice level in this, and I always thought that was cool. That you're Luigi's over anyway. That they, yeah. Look, there's a fireball for you and me. Oh, so I didn't realize there were multicolored fireballs yeah. out to kill us both. You have to really be taking a long time for that to occur. Look at that death animation, too, that, that Mario does. And the, what, what Wow, are, they just dropped me right in there. See, man, this game is... I don't want to keep making you play this game, so we can wrap it up, but Mario Brothers, the original game with the word bros in it. Yeah, uh, not the best game with the word bros in it, but nope. Still, a game that exists. I would put it uh, on... Just for its pure importance mm -hmm. and for its kind of it, its beauty and its place as a classic Nintendo arcade game, I think it's important enough to be in my personal uh, top 400 games, which I wrote about once. And then also the, probably the, my favorite hundred or so and, and uh, Nintendo games that have ever been made. That's not that's. But really? I can. I know, man. That's uh, not really narrowing it down. I know it's not. But I, I do have a place in my heart for it. And I really want a, a Nintendo... Uh, I want a Mario Brothers arcade machine. I think it'd be a fun one to own. Hey, damn it. Just because it's so pretty. You still got a turtle. I got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is Mario Bros. Uh, the original Mario Brothers game. Cleaning the sewers. <laughs> He's not a carpenter. He's all, a plumber, damn it. For all things Super Mario, hopefully with the better the better Mario games in this series. Mm -hmm. uh, keep it locked right Aww. here. Look at that. Best friends for life. Yeah. Keep it locked right here to IGN. Test your skills.